Well, this is Vaclab Mini Meat number 36. 36. That's just unbelievable. Tom Boz when you're having fun. And Thomas has to go and fiddle with these different machines. Now, the Red Dirt Devil is his. And I see it's got a little dirt on the Dirt Devil. And the Hoover Elite, that's also his. Mm -hmm. And everything else you see, four items there, are actually mine that he hasn't had a chance to do anything with since our last mini meet. So, I really like the video on that shark uh, mess maker. Mess master. Uh -huh. Mess master. Okay. I really liked watching that because I watched him go outside and make like a mess with it and suck this up, suck that up. I really, really enjoyed the. Um, that's a you want. You want. <laughs> I know. Kind of a funny name. I was going to call it a cobble. Yeah. Like the uh, stick back. Sure. I actually even got online and I was, I was this close to buying one for myself. But I've got so many attachments and stuff for my rainbows that actually it, I was like, eh, I'll just play with bills instead. But. You know, when you've got Rainbow, you kind of, they have the little upholstery nozzle that you can connect to the end. And I was like, eh, I'll just use that instead. But that little guy there, I really liked watching him clean his mattresses with it. It was fun to watch. You know, like, kind of, what do you call well, it? Like, it was fun to use. Well, it's like that word whenever, you know, it's pleasant. Sure. It's very, it's pleasant, like, you know, cleaning your mattresses, cleaning your couch and you see what comes out of it and you realize, you know, you're like, hey, this was in my house. I'm glad it's gone. Here. And go ahead and you can, you can hold it rather than just have it be on the floor. It's, it is, um, it has a little bit of a weight to it, but it's not like, it's not nothing like, yeah, it was under four pounds. So, I mean, yeah, I can see how this would be easy to use on stairs, couches, mattresses, um, and everything else, it's got the the flapper, yeah. Feeny, it kind of scrapes. Roll. It's not a brush roll because there's no bristles, no brushes, but it's got the flappers. And it's uh, metal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a little, yeah, a little aluminum, very lightweight. Yeah, tick, yeah. Tick, tick, tick. Yep. And it's got the UV lights and the stuff to kill the uh -huh. germs that you have on furniture. And it's got the little sonic thing, that little speaker. Was it 40 kilohertz? Right there yeah so it's got other things other than just try to pick up the dirt it's trying to kill anything that might be living yeah so this would be i could see how this would become a handy dandy little machine so i don't think i'll actually be running this but just looking at it, i can tell it yeah. looks like a little Y'all ever seen them things that people put in pools now to clean their pools with? It just okay, kinda, yeah, pool cleaner, but this yeah. would be your, your lightweight mattress cleaner. Yeah, this doesn't go in the pool, unfortunately, but uh, that's kind of what it reminds me of. It looks like a little pool cleaner that just goes along just real slow and cleans the pool. So, all right. This is a cool gadget to have around the house if you ever, if people decide to buy one. So, I like the looks of it. It's pretty got a ruby looking uh it's like a rose there. gold kind rose of thing gold. yeah apple has that kind of color on their phones well at least they used to i don't know if they still have so, rose gold now it looks like it has a it's got a real nice thick jacket cord <laughs> the cable is way over yeah kill. it's definitely yeah. it's this right here can def i can definitely tell it's 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 good quality so we'll put that off to the side and if things work out well I'm going to get another piece of equipment from you want. So it might be somewhat similar to that shark. I guess so, I'll start Okay, with so the, yeah, you go ahead and start with, with whatever you want to do. I'll start with the front and work my way back. Yeah. Uh, this machine here is just, I could, it's just straight airflow yeah, viewer, suction. Yeah, straight suction. Viewer sent me that, said it made a funny noise, and I think I know what it is. If you look back in the video series for this part, I think we just have a... A bad rubber oh. seal that's making a funny noise. Yeah. But you know what? For the price, you can't beat this thing. You just can't. It looks so. like it's it looks like it's made relatively well. It yeah. looks 
high quality, nice. It's bagless. Bagless. Yeah. Be good for uh, people with hardwood floors. Uh, it's going to fall over. And um, We know it's going to fall yeah, over. Yeah, I'm trying not to. It, just go ahead and, and fall it over already. Just go ahead. I mean, you can put it down because it's going to go down. It wants to go down. <laughs> it lives to go down. I'm trying to get the hose on kinked here. There it desperately wants to go down. That's the only thing I don't like about, I don't, these hoses that are fixed length here, and you can't, they they don't stretch that, like, you can't maneuver them that well. They get fixed, and it's like a fixed angle. That's not just this machine, it's any machine. Right. You know, you get these fixed angles, and they kind of, the hose twists and kinks, and. What, did you want to plug it in and, and give it a whirl? Yeah, I'll do that. Um, I'm going to. Or did you want to go through. I mean, we can do whatever we want. I'm gonna go through the machines. <laughs> it's our mini meat. I'm gonna go through the machines one by. It does have a it does have a park, but you'd have to tilt it back up in order to park it. There we go. <laughs> okay. This <Park>. here, <laughs> um, this here, I will show off probably last because it's. Yeah, wet we, we'll take it outside and we'll actually maybe we could dump some water on this car. But whatever, we'll dump some water somewhere and. Uh, suck it up with the mess so master. This right here, I will set this off to the side. Yeah. Park that right there. And I've got a dirt devil here that my grandmother bought at a yard sale for me that she found. What'd she give for it? That I don't know. I oh, didn't know. okay. All right. But the people who had it said it was a mess. It was stored in the garage. They didn't use it for years and years. And now it's mine. Yeah, and it was absolutely filthy when I got it. It was covered in dust, dirt. The brush roll in it is was locked up. It was it wouldn't even spin. This bag right here, you could just go like that, and it go poof. Right. I took my Electrolux that I have and reverse vacuumed it off so it wouldn't poof everywhere. I do have a. It does have a bag in it though, even though I it's not usable at the moment. I I put a Bissell clean. Give me a different view. I turn it 180 degrees. There you go. Let's let's see the back. I All put right. a Bissell clean fairy style seven in it, which is HEPA. So it is from 1994. Seven amp motor. And it's model zero eight five three hundred. I just showed the sticker. I wasn't yeah. looking at that. So very lightweight. Yeah. I mean, not heavy yeah. at all. But right now, its biggest problem is it needs a yeah, motor. It, it needs bearings. Yeah. It, it's, it it's, needs bearings. It needs help. Yeah, he uh, turned it on and um, played it for me, so to speak, and uh, oh. Yeah, bad, really bad bearings. It's probably savable um, if you take the time to take the motor out and put the bearings in. Of course, you could always change the motor. But the rest of the machine is, you know, kind of okay. I mean, it, it is complete. Here's the only problem, though. Those dirt devils like that, you cannot find parts for them. If you do, I have searched far and wide for a brush roll, a replacement motor possibly if I needed it. So you right just, now it doesn't have a brush roll. No. Yeah, because it's the one that was locked up. That yeah, the brush roll was WD locked up. WD-40 and trying to unlock it. I just can't find a. I can't find a brush roll. I can't find motor parts. But for some odd reason, you can still buy belts and bags for them. They still make the Type D bags, and they still make the Style Four slash Five belts. Because apparently the Style Four slash Five belt in them. Dirt Devils, they go, they've been in production now for 40 years because they still use them even in their some of their newer machines. Yeah. So that's funny that a belt in like a newer Dirt Devil can go clear back to 1994 and work in that machine. Wow. So, well, tell us about this greenish, grayish Hoover Elite. I acquired this in a local goodwill in my neck of the woods it was sitting there and it just looked really clean and pretty and wasn't dirty at all and it, they only wanted five bucks for it um i bought it brought it home 
I didn't have to really like clean it, clean it. I just wiped it down of like, it had some cobwebs on it. I just wiped the cobwebs off, dry dusted it. I bought a new brush roll. I did manage to buy that and some belts. And See, also, that, that's wood, right? Yes. Yeah. That is a wooden wood. brush nice. roll. Nice. Okay. Very thick, dense bristles, but the bristles are very soft. Yeah. That's medium soft. Very long, but medium soft. And let's let's look at the rest of the underside. It looks it looks pretty clean. See, there's the the sticker. I know it's upside down. So everybody reads upside down, right? Just go ahead and flip your phone over. Uh, the date code on these, because I know how to date code them, is from February of 1990. Wow. Right, go ahead and turn the machine 180 mm -hmm. so we can we can see the back. But yeah, um, yeah, it looks pretty good. A friend of mine and Bill's, his name is Grayson Rayshirt. He is a Hoover fanatic. And he was telling me that this machine has actually got mixed matched parts on it. He said the 300 doesn't come, uh, supposedly the bag on it comes from a 350, not a 300. And the one of them, another one of them has a headlight or another. And when I took the hood off to replace the belt in this thing, there is a slot in there for where you can stick a bulb in for a headlight, but it's got this cover over top of it that doesn't let any light come out. So hmm. it don't make sense. So and, if this machine, you said it was from 1990, right? Mm -hmm. So I guess over the years, somebody would have, you know, bought something like this. And then as parts broke or wore out or whatnot, they just kept just mixing and matching. Yeah. You know, buffet style. Yeah. Until well, uh, they got it to, well, in its current shape. Well, on the sticker underneath, it claims it only has five amps. Right. Well, Grayson says it sounds just like the seven amp motor. We can measure that. Yeah, we can. So we, we can do that. We can definitely do that. Yeah. So, rather, I don't care if it's mixed match or not. That right. don't matter to me. The fact that I have a machine from 1990, which is older than I am, and it's being in this good of cosmetic condition, I'm pleased. Well, my, fantastic. My fancy's tickled. Oh, I got something I do want to mention. This claims to only have two height positions. Oh, no. It's three. There's a high. It's kind of hard to do. Medium. Oh, so one it's right got there. a detent. Yeah, there's okay. one right there. Then you got low. They lied. Yeah, it's right kind of hard to find but it's right right about right there there's a detent and then what happens if you try to go to the right of high it just stops it, it, stops. it won't let you go any it further it looks like it can now that doesn't have anything weird like you can i'm not that familiar with these machines you can't like push down and then pull it over because that's just kind of weird i know it says two level automatic automatic height adjustment automatic uh, was it a spring loaded or something so I see it goes there, and I see a little, yeah, there's something in there that's stopping it. Yeah, I, I see that right there. Huh. I'm sure Grayson, Grayson, sorry, yeah. will see this, and he'll oh, <laughs> he'll put his input and everything into it, and he'll tell us all what this machine is all, its specific details. Okay, all right, so he'll write some thousand-word uh, posts <laughs> saying, well, the full history of this is blah, 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 blah. We have okay. some good reading. The only thing I don't like about these Hoovers. Ugh. Shortest cord known to man. It looked like it was pretty short. Let me back up here. Yeah, that is, uh, that's the entire length of the cord. That's probably something like 12, 13, 14 feet. That, that is a one room vacuum. Uh, actually, I can replug in one room. Actually. Like when I vacuum my house, I've replugged in my living room only like i yep. go one to the living room have to replug there and it's like Ooh. but the cord's in fabulous shape it's not dirty it's not frayed it's yeah. not split the prongs down there are nice and straight wonderful so like i said cosmetically beautiful well i will talk a little bit about this machine now what's funny is just a few hours ago, 
I actually got this machine up and running again. And you say, what's the big deal? That's a diamond edition. Yeah, but it's a 2004 that's a curb find that I got actually several months ago. And I'm like, you know, I'm kind of full up on Kirby's. I have a lot of them. I wouldn't mind a uh, blue Avalier 2 or the new, what is it, like platinum model or something like that. But uh, I have one of these, and I really didn't want another one because I'm not big on duplicates. Unnecessary duplicates, maybe I should say. However, I saw this, and it was in my neck of the woods at walking distance from my house. I'm like, you know, I just got to see if this thing works because I can't believe somebody's going to throw out a 20-year-old $1,000 vacuum. So you're seeing it right now in a lot better shape. As a matter of fact, it's actually fully operational. I use that term <clears throat> only slightly loosely, but it does basically work. Um, you will see, the funny thing is if you're watching this mini meet first, you, will, you may have missed the um, refurbishment part one. So that actually gets the machine from curbside um, viewage, smellage, and sewage and whatnot up to what you see here. So there's going to be another video that should be posted before you see this mini meet. Mm -hmm. And it'll show the machine um, in its original condition and everything I had to do to actually fix it. But since you're watching this, whether you've seen the early one or not, um, we can go ahead and run this. But uh, let me go and get my power meter out and connect it. So Thomas is going to drop the cord, and then we will run all the machines that we can run, and uh, I'll call out the uh, power usage. Now I have my little power meter hooked in, that little white job right back there. So we'll go ahead and run this in the condition it's in, which is not fully restored just yet. And I'll take a look at the, the power meter, see how much power it uses. But go ahead and take it away, Thomas. One, two, three, four. You know what? It really... It moves like... It's just a typical Kirby, just... Like butter. Yeah, it's pretty smooth. <laughs> Grab the carpet. Yeah. Smells clean. <laughs> now let's do the, the speed switch. so quiet with the speed switch on. I can't believe this is the only Kirby that they made that in. I guess it wasn't that popular or it was very popular for a bad reason that people were uh, overheating the motor somehow. Although I did a video many years ago that I measured the uh, temperature running on low speed and I proved that the motor doesn't overheat. You can find that video if you like, if you haven't seen that one. It sounds r really good, actually. Yeah. So I, the, the brush roll was a complete disaster. So I went ahead and cleaned that off, uh, re-greased the bearings, that kind of thing. I did that yesterday. And, um, oh, the spindle was had a blob of stuff on it, you know, that would fit in the palm oh, I'm of your sure hand. It was, it was I'm ridiculous. sure it was disgusting. Yeah. I mean... Belt was shot, you would figure that. Um, the bag, you know, it's been so many months ago. I don't remember if it had a bag in it or if it had a bag and it would, you know, somebody else's dirt, so I just threw it away. Um, clean the, uh, I cleaned the outer bag and did my normal, uh, normal uh, Persil kind of dunk in the tub. Oh, and it that's why it great. smells kind of nice. It smells, nice. Yeah. Right. It smells yeah. clean. So, um, all right, so that's good. Okay, so if you want to wrap that one up yeah, and I'm gonna grab try whatever the, the next thing is. I'm gonna try the bagless heart, or yeah, yeah, heart. Yeah, heart. Something one thousand, whatever's the model there. It's um, if I haven't said this already, it's just amazing how these um, Diamond Edition Kirby's have the two-speed, and it's the only model that has that. None of the 
the other Kirby's you can do that with. Yep. So like if you're on like really thick carpet and like you need to turn the airflow down or you've got like really delicate rugs, you turn that down and it's not as harsh. So, I mean, they should have continued that, I think. Well, there was some reason why they didn't. I mean, maybe it was because uh, people were, you know, getting confused with them. I mean, you never really know. Still yet, though, I think my favorite Kirby has to be the... G5? Yeah, it has to be the G5. Yeah. There it is over there. G3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 <laughs> for the moment. And, well, actually, there's two 7s. There. And of course, that one's been gone through the fine toothpick comb. Yeah. That one's... Uh, the other one from 2005 has the full tear down and refurb. Yeah, if you're wondering uh, how to go and find something, a uh, video or set of videos for any of the vacuums, uh, take a look at the playlists and you will find them in there. Just search for the playlist that you want. There's, there's literally hundreds of playlists. All right, here, let's power on the heart. Yeah, I go, so that literally is just a uh, seal. It's not actually broken. It sounds weird. Wow. Uh, when I sit it down on the carpet, yeah. I can feel it sure. suction cup. Oh, yeah. But it's easy to push. You've got suction relief by your thumb. It's not hard to push even with full yeah. suction. And you have the little foot switch. Oh, now it's just... Like, it wasn't hard before, but now it's just even like butter. Yeah. But whenever I set it down, I can feel it go gulp. This would make a good machine to clean your vehicle out with. Yeah, it would be good. So I normally um, try to use canisters when I clean my vehicle. Hey, that's how you know it, got, it has airflow. And they can pick the carpet up. Go ahead and flip the foot switch and then uh, see what the difference is. What do you want me to do? The foot switch. Oh. Yeah. You know, one's supposed to be for bare floor and one's supposed oh, to be for carpet. Just, there's no resistance at all. Yeah. So I take it, what I had it on was probably carpet or rug, whatever. And now these, it's even easier. Yeah. yeah. These parquet tools are a little awkward this is really just for something that doesn't have a revolving brush roll just suction only it's pleasant if i'm not mistaken i think these are sold at walmart yeah yeah that's right that's where the heart brand is usually sold and it's really cheap i mean really cheap So it's got some airflow, I can hear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's hilarious. I give it a two thumbs up for like just general dusting, cleaning. Um, light industry is not nothing heavy. Right. But um for something like to clean your cars out, clean like this would be a perfect environment to have this machine for, like for the, oh, yeah, for um, the cement, com the concrete, cement, yeah, sure. cleaning, mm -hmm. like base, like in your oh, rafters. Sure. And yeah. yeah, clean up there. Absolutely. And like I said, I, I kind of like to use canisters with a fixed hose to clean out my cars. I have been for, well, since the 1980s. Yeah, it's not a, I don't think this machine is even that expensive. No, uh, I think it's around $75. I'm sure it varies around a little bit. Maybe some people have managed to buy one on sale for 50 bucks or, you know, whatever it is. You can tell me in the uh, comment section below. Oh, that below. works real well. Yep. Now, see if you can figure out how to, um, well, of course, disconnect the hose, but get the, the uh, canister part out. Get the, uh, get the bin out. 
of the canister. Yeah, there you go. That's it. And now uh, see if you can empty it. You can empty it right onto the carpet. So there's how you get to the filter, right? That's not actually how you empty it, but that is how you get to the filter. Well, I'm sure. I know. Yeah. I'm pretty sure what it has is how, yeah. like most vacuums. Right. Click, click. You found it. Now you got to figure out how to how to make it work. Yeah, it's a little it's a little strange. Yeah, we're not gonna really find too much in there. I think we got some fluff. Did we get some fluff? Yeah, we got a little bit of carpet. Okay, yeah, right there. Yeah, got a little bit in there. And so he he dumped a little bit of fluff right there. That's <laughs> it. That's all. <laughs> Yeah, this is. I think Vac Labs carpet uh, test carpet would be dirty, huh? 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 <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's like it's it's a nice little handy dandy straight suction cleaner. I definitely. Yeah. If I if I had like hardwood floors only in my house or linoleum, this would be something good to have. Sure. Just going up to Walmart, buy you a a heart. Yep. Yep. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Very, very cheap. Okay. Cindy and Nancy Wilson be jealous mm -hmm. for you heart fans out there. Heart, heart, heart. Yeah. Now we're going to fool with this hush puppy. And, and, and Nancy Wilson. Did I say Cindy? Yeah, Ann. Yeah. I, I knew it was something. Yeah. So here we go with the Hoover. Ridiculously short cord. 300, maybe parts from a 350. Do I hear 375, 400? <laughs> All right now, this one I've never measured the power on, so actually, when he, when he yeah, does his thing, uh, we'll we'll take a look at it. Oh my! Nine hundred watts. Well. Going forward, yeah. I'm barely tight. I'm just holding it up. Yeah, it, it's uh, grabbing the carpet. Going back though. Yeah, you really got to give it the heave ho, huh? Watch it pull the rug back. Save it. Don't don't run. Make this the last time that you run it. Unfortunately, that sucker is using uh, over nine hundred watts. What would that be converted into amps? All right, so seven and a half amps. Yeah, so seven and a half amps. I know there's a, there's a now. What what did he say? And or so originally. I mean, I know yeah, you talked about well, it earlier, right but remind on, me again. It's right here on the bottom. I can lift it up. It's not yeah. heavy at all. It only rates so so rated at five amps, and then Grayson said it was a what? He said it was the seven amp motor. Seven amp. Okay, well this oh. is running at at least seven and a half, but keep in mind the bearings are pretty much shot, so that could uh, add a little extra resistance to it. Yeah, but the uh, yeah, it's not not carpet. the five amp motor. So, de definitely not. I know. Um, I've seen him test the five amp motor, and they don't sound as loud as. Uh, yep. the seven amp does. It's a lot quieter. So he probably he was right. Okay, so now that we've done all this, I don't think you want to run the dirt devil even to let the people know how loud it is or how bad well, it is. Do I can you give it a? I can give it a few seconds. I think. All right, a few I, seconds. All right. If you think the Hoover sounded bad, the dirt devil sounds much worse. So here's uh here on the bearing channel, you get to hear everything. <laughs> Oh, much longer cord, too. Much longer. Still a little bit on the short end, but not that. That's like camper uh, in the woods, like cabin cleaning. Yeah. All 
All right, so yeah, okay. Hold your ears, uh, not because it's going to be loud per se, but because the sound's going to be um, well, pretty, big, pretty bad. Go ahead and check Whoa. the, check the yeah, okay, on Okay, I'm going to check it. Yeah. Now, this one don't have a brush roll in it, remember. So okay, yeah, that yeah. probably will play. Because the brush roll was locked up. Okay, all right. All right, go ahead. We'll take a look. Okay, about 650. This is Charlotte. Sounds like I mean, you know what? I I changed my mind. Uh, the bearings in the green one's worse. So when I um, Thomas uh, sent this to me on uh, Facebook Messenger, just a little mm -hmm. uh, a little quick snippet, and I could hear the bearings were bad, but the bearings in that Hoover are even worse. So well, now they have a chance to actually um, compare them. Yeah, like 650 watts. So you're a little over uh, five amps. Yeah. Well, no brush roll and stuff, so... Yeah, 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 yeah. But um, now we get to play with the shark. Okay, the shark. So we're going to find something we can dump some water in, and uh, uh, Thomas can go and uh, just see how much suction, how fast it can it can dry a carpet, because it, it's amazing just uh, how fast that picks up water. So you didn't ask for it, but you're going to get it anyway. Thomas <laughs> is now going to use these two devices on this somewhat stained and a little bit uh, dirty mat, but just for the heck of it, I want to do a test. This is baking soda. So I'm just going to kind of liberally spread this around a little bit to see how well the you want actually does. I have maybe a teaspoon or something of that nature, just a little bit, just to see what it can pick up. Oh, why not just take the whole container and just throw it right yeah, on there? Throw Like, why not just fly right. out this and make it filthy? <laughs> yeah, there we go. Okay, so we got a bunch of water, we got Resolve, and uh, the Wheeler Boys, Joe Wheeler channel. I have some pre-mixed Fabuloso. From what I understand, his channel is, is defunct now. No, it's back on again. Oh, yeah, yeah. great. I'm, yeah. Glad, I'm, I'm glad you fellas came back. It, what, yeah, I know. I, I, I missed them, and they're back on, and they're posting videos, and that some of them are even food uh, oriented. So now we have some baking soda, and we're very happy that uh, Joe Wheeler got his uh, channel going again. Yep. All right, so here we go with the you want. 87, 91, 0, 96, 86, 92, 0. It's all over the place. 88. 91. And I didn't put that much baking soda in there. Which, as you can huh. see, it got it up. Yeah, sure did. Absolutely it did. Now it's 96, 78, 59, 77, 0, Z3. 3. <laughs> oh, now it's like 0 all over. All right, great. So it lets you know that it's clean. Well, actually, no. I hit right in the center. It's got some. Okay. We'll do a so little. So remember, don't lift it up. Let it be horizontal and only push it back and forth. Don't lift and push down. You're only supposed to. Here, all right, that's you. what I'm doing. I'm just, I'm just lift like I'm not pushing on it. Okay. All right. He's lifting it too high. It's got to go all the. Yeah. See, I can see the purple lights. If you lift it too high, the purple lights go off. So it needs to be completely horizontal. So you only go forward and backward, you don't lift at all. Oh, okay, so. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's, that's what you need to do, that's it. Oh, now I'm seeing more dirt. Okay, great, now it's, now it's doing the rest of its job. Yep, but you yeah. see how easy it is? Just two fingers, just that, just two fingies. I'm seeing like mid 30s, low 40s, dust wise. Because it kept saying zero, and I'm like, man, this rug must be clean. Yep. Yeah, it's like in the mid-40s. So, so how's, it, how's the push and pull effort? Oh, it's nothing. Nothing. 
you know what this smells like where it's brand new it smells like a swimming pool <laughs> okay it's funny <laughs> so yeah make sure that you just go forward and backward you don't lift up at all because you won't get the full benefit of the machine and you don't push down on it. yeah and you don't need to push down on it Ooh, great there it is. Uh, it's a side button right there. Yes, yep, you got it. That's right. Ooh. <laughs> now, uh, obviously, it's picking up a lot more than just, you know, I put a teaspoon of baking Let's soda see in what... there. Yeah, we can dump it if you like. Here, let me come around here. There. You can even, you can even dump it right here so people can, people can see it. Yeah. There. That's what came out. I mean, we know the white stuff is. Yeah. You see a little bit of mm -hmm. real rosy hair right there, but sure. you do see some brown. And there, yeah, and there's the baking soda mixed in. Absolutely. You see some little bits of... Yeah, I didn't put that much baking soda in there. <laughs> there's other stuff in there. That it makes it look like I put a ton in there. <laughs> I just did a couple of pinches. So, okay. now I'm excited for this. <laughs> Easy to take, put on, take off. This yep. is a nice little, I like this. I liked watching it even. So that right. Yeah, you want. That's a nice little machine. Mm -hmm. So here, now. now what's when, weird is this actually looks a little bit cleaner. <laughs> it's not as brown it was as what it was a few minutes ago. Now I'm going to spray some. Yep. I'm going to use the Fabuloso, I think. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use it versus the Resolve. I don't want to over soap it, so I'll just use this. Okay. So we'll set this okay. off to the side. And then we'll do the, the big water extract test. Yes. Yep. Oh, is it, is it open? Oh, yeah, go. Oh, yeah. oops. <laughs> Way to go, Thomas. We need to turn it on. You know, actually, um, the thing about Fabuloso is it's non-acidic. It's, cheap. it's it's cheap it's really no, cheap it's non-acidic it's um it is a fabulous cleaner i use i have used fabuloso for years and years in my neck of the woods i've used all kinds of cleaner i've used pine saw fabuloso lysol clorox um oh this smells good even I'm trying to make sure I get everything nice and coated. I'm going to let this just kind of dwell for a little bit. Let it sit. Should be good enough. I am kind of let it sit and let it do its thing. Then what I'll do is I'll start, I'll extract the, the cleaner out and then I'll pour water over top of it and then Sure, yeah, give it a good one. rinse. Absolutely. Yep. All right, sounds like a plan. So, yeah, it doesn't look like you've actually done anything, but that is, relatively speaking, soaked with a lot of Fabuloso. Uh, diluted, of course, not not straight. Yeah, you don't want to take yeah. the bottle and just go boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Otherwise, you're going to be, you're going to have suds. So, we will now, gave that just a second to let it set. Sure. Did you want to open up the top just to familiarize with what's inside? Yeah, sure. Why not? Because you haven't seen it yet. Well, on the video you have. But... Oh, that's just cake. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> nice. Yeah, there's the bucket. You don't want to go more than half full. And a little filter, yeah, nice yeah. and clean. And then, of course, it's got another filter in there. So two pre-motor filters. It's funny how Shark has made so many different little machines over the years you know they've really come a long way with their products and i enjoy using shark even so let's uh give this a shot all right and away we go uh i'll, I'll hold one in it does matter when i pull yep yep it's got it's got a boatload of sticking power, so yeah, it's definitely got suction. Yeah, it'll lift that carpet up. Try not to get your fingers. That's all right. 
Like, just look at that. Yeah. <laughs> there, that's about the best I can do, I think. Yeah, I'm going forward, and uh, it's not happening. You got to go back. Yep. Get here. Go back, do another pass, going back. Lift it up. Look at the fibers, how they just revitalize. It sure does. It's, it's looking better. It's definitely looking better. The only thing I have to complain is it's a little bit longer of a hose. Yeah, well, you, you can turn that a little bit and uh, you'll get a little bit longer hose. They should, uh, what Shark needs to do is they need to have options where you can have a, purchase a longer hose if you'd like. Just personal preference. Sure. Yeah, I could see where that would be good. Okay, now you want to see what it managed to pick up. Oh, nothing. That was, I didn't put anything down enough. Like, there's just a tiny little bit. I oh, know you only, only, you just sprayed it, but it didn't pick up any, it didn't, wow, okay. So that is, the bin is completely dry. Well, okay. it's so hot out here too, it probably. You know, it, it may have um, evaporated. So he didn't put enough down. Where's that bottle that you were squirting from? Right Let here. See. Let me see it. Oh, you know what? Yeah, we didn't put that much down. So if you saw what it was like before, it was only like maybe another half, well, maybe another inch above that. So not enough water to um, to trigger anything. I guarantee you it did pick something up, but it's inside the hose itself. It yeah. literally is all inside the hose itself. I mean, itself. when you feel it, it is damp. Yep. It is damp. It's not yep. completely dry. So okay. Let's, so now let's, we try, let's try it with a bunch of water. So you got the cleaning material in there. Now you just go and we'll, we'll just soak it. This is rubber backed. Even if it wasn't rubber backed, rubber backed. you know, we're at Vac Lab here. We can, we can get all kinds of tools out and yeah. clean. Yeah, but it, uh, it technically looked like it didn't pick up anything whatsoever. What even I though like, obviously it had plenty of suction. How about that? Isn't that funny? What I like too is him and Ellie actually prefer cleaning their rugs this way. They don't want to put them in the washer anymore. It's, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. So they prefer this method. So now let's try it again. If I can get well, I get what I'm gonna do first, so I don't get myself wet. I'm gonna use the little Okay. Oh, there's the dirt. Yes. Yeah, guys, it did actually pick something up. I know you're like, it didn't do anything. You know, <laughs> it did, but it's inside the hole. I'm just trying to get this corner so I don't get myself wet when I go to... Oh, okay, all right. Now we'll switch back to the... Now, can I get you to do your finger thing? Yep, sure. Can you start here? Yes. All right. Go really slow to get that water up. Yeah, and you I can see, see it. it. Yep, I do. Yep. Yeah, it's, it's picking up plenty now.
We're almost full. Yeah, wow. I'm gonna go ahead and stop because yeah. I don't want to. Yeah, I don't nope, want to push good. my luck. That's good. Now you can just pop that little dude out and then just dump it over the side. Yeah. There you go. Look at the. Yeah, let's look at that. Let me <laughs> see a top view. I gotta put it down. Let's see a top view. Yep. Okay. Go ahead and pour her out. Look at this. Ew. Ooh, there it is down there. All right. It smells like fabuloso. Yep. It smells clean. And then it just kind of just sits in there. It's springy. Yeah. Okay. Spring load. Yep. Yeah. It's supposed to be. Well, the first time I did that, I went, something's wrong. He's like, no. <laughs> I get it. Springy. All right. Let's do some more. More finger action. Yeah. Look how much cleaner it is now. Yeah, you can tell it gets auto like that made a huge difference in the the collar, the nap. It don't look dingy or worn out. It's vibrant. It's colorful, and it will lighten up as it dries too. And visually, like when we brought it out here. It wasn't visually that dirty. <laughs> gotta really, I really have to yeah. hold on to this. Oh, man. You gotta hold look on how to much water. This, this thing is actually still. Look at that. Yeah, it's it's pulling it right out. But you know what, though, this me part. feeling this, it's not. In my opinion, it's not super wet. So this is really pulling up the water. So yeah, this thing definitely. Okay, good, yep, got it. I wonder, just wonder if we try doing oh, this. Oh yeah, side. by all means, you can try that, sure. I wonder if that would work. Yeah. So we obviously soaked it. Uh, we we over soaked it. So you can see this is where dry spot would be in the mat, and this is actually wet in the mat. According to, I mean, you know, that's the yeah, way we'll, it goes. We'll see if we can get something out on this. We're side. having fun here. Yep. Yep. You probably want to go backward again. I'm actually going to try the other tool. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Cause they don't have like the uh, claws. You're right. Oh, there we go. I like that one better. That's okay. getting the water up. I can see water going in as I'm pulling it back. See, look. Just doing the back alone, that's how much we got out. Yep. Let's dump that. Well, it says right here, wet mess tool. Mm -hmm. So that really yep. maximizes your, this side is just kind of, just relatively. Yep. Well, we'll do, how about we do one more pass on it after we, after we dump that dirty water, just to see. So this is, this is medium wet, but it's drying fast. Let's see if it can pick out um, yeah. any well, more water. If we can manage to extract any more water after we, Dump this. 
So let's see, see what does that look like. That that it definitely looks dirty. And oh that was, yeah. That was just the. Uh, oh yeah. That was just from the back, like that little bit of mm -hmm. on the top and the mostly back. Deep down cleaning. And there it goes. Does it still smell good? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Smells fresh and clean. This little this little guy here is a for oh, a, for it to be yeah. so little, it's it's a beast. Yeah. Here we go. Jeez, oh, I can hardly hold on Actually, to Actually, I'm about to go forward. Okay, all right. Oh yeah, it's pump. there's water coming in. It's still extracting. And I'm not going fast. I'm trying to figure a angle out here. Just, just, a, just a little bit and residual and it's yeah. still dirty yeah that, that is still dirty so we Clearly. can probably work and work and work and work on this but yeah you get the point it it does the job so yeah this was <laughs> this was definitely an experience to work with it was this was it was fun so you just yeah just lay it right down in there and that's it. You know what's weird is you can actually, if you have a, well, let's say you're going to vacuum up like feces and urine or something, something really awful. You can put a plastic bag and line the bucket with it. Yeah, I've seen so where you did that. The, the bucket nasty per se. But then again, you still have to, you know, all this stuff, nasty stuff still goes through the hose. So I tell you what, how about we go and uh, do a cleaning cycle with the machine? Okay, I'll be right back. Last thing we're going to do is clean the hose with a half a gallon of water. And Thomas has never done like full sealed suction. So we'll see how he reacts <laughs> to it because it's gonna be kind of violent. <laughs> I'll try. Yep. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it definitely is just, you It popped. Yeah, and we popped it. Yeah, because we're a little bit above wa uh, wet Maxville. So, yep. <laughs> yep. It was Whoosh. just whoop. Yeah, incredible. So, let's take a look at it. So, now the hose, I already cleaned the, the tools. Just rinsed them out in the sink real quick. Um, now, the rest of the machine is clean, <laughs> believe it or not. Yeah. Cleaned out the hose and mm, whatever cut else. Cut rosy hair out. Yeah. Oh, let's see. What do we have in there? So yeah, look at that. We just got some hair, which would have been from the carpet. Otherwise, that's fairly clean water. Yeah, mostly. I mean, it's a little bit dirty because of the dirt in the hose, but yeah. 
I mean, that's to be expected. Sure. Yeah, look at that. That's that's clean water. Now you just set up everything to dry. Yeah, just set and it out. It. Set it out in this hot August weather. Yeah, absolutely. So, this was really fun to use. I actually really enjoyed it. It was. It picked up really well. It's uh versatile it's got attachments on it. i liked it let's there's a tiny little bit of water on yeah top there will of the be filter, yeah, it's not perfect other than that oh oh, oh yeah, yeah look at that we got water in there yeah we definitely got water in there we got more water uh, a little bit yeah so it got some water in there didn't it yes so some people i already know for this particular model they know that this actually can get wet but it's not, they don't smell. No, it's not dirty. No anything. smell, but no yes, dirty. Um, if you do anything as violently as we did just now, okay, it's not recommended. Yeah, watch this. It can get things wet, obviously. You've just seen it. But you just... Now, under normal circumstances, does this happen? No. But under extreme circumstances, it will, so be careful. But just again, watch the just... demonstration that uh, we did here, and uh, don't repeat this. <laughs> you just leave it... Just set it out. Yep. Let it dry, and you're you're you'll be good to go. Mm -hmm. Yep. Just leave the machine like and just leave it like that. Even take this off. Just set it right here. Hey, you remembered how to take the hose off? Not well, it said hard, I'm. It, come here. It does say insert you in you and twist the lock. Yep, twist, so. Yep. So untwist, unlock. And there we go. Shake the excess water out. And then just sit it right like that. Just let it dry and you're good to go. All right, we're going to go ahead and close this session of the Vac Lab Mini Meet number 36. Oh, the wife photobombed. All right, <laughs> thanks for watching and remember share your stuff and happy vacuuming.